Danger Dolan. From myths about long dead painters to how long you're supposed to wait after eating in order to go for a swim, we count 15 things you generally assume are fact, but simply aren't so. Number 15. You might be under the impression an octopus has eight legs because of the Latin prefix octo, when in reality they only have two. The back two legs are used to propel themselves along the sea floor, while the remaining six tentacles are used for feeding, officially classified as arms. It's generally known in the field of marine biology that an octopus is now known as a two-legged, six-armed animal. But since the name has been around for so long and become iconic, it'd just be silly to try and change it now. Number 14. Most believe a chameleon will change color to blend into their surroundings for camouflage. But generally, this, this isn't true. The original purpose of the color change was for social reasons. They turn dark when angered and light when they're trying to impress females. A select few species of chameleon will indeed use color for camouflage like the Smith's dwarf chameleon that disguises itself if threatened by a bird or a snake. But for the most part, chameleons only change color based on emotion. Number 13. It's generally established that Vincent van Gogh cut off his own ear, when in reality only his left earlobe had been sliced off. Even further is the possibility his French artist friend Paul Guigan, also an expert fencer by the way, might have cut it off himself after a fight. But there also exists evidence van Gogh simply suffered a mental breakdown and done it himself. Not long after the incident, Van Gogh sent the earlobe to a prostitute alongside a nice letter. Clearly the perfect gift. Number 12. So you're never supposed to wake someone who is sleepwalking, and that's always been the golden rule. But it's completely false. Someone who sleepwalks is in a slow wave sleep stage of low consciousness who performs simple repetitive tasks like walking to the bathroom, cleaning around or cooking something. Now it might confuse the person if you wake them up while they're sleepwalking, but you're better off doing that before they hurt themselves. Although it might just be as easy to simply guide them back to bed while they sleepwalk, but there's just no right or wrong answer. Number 11. Lions are always considered king of the jungle, but most of them don't even live in the jungle. You'll actually find them prowling the plains of Africa. Ferocious wild animals at the top of the food chain were typically referred to as jungle animals, simply to distinguish them from common farm animals back in the day. The only lions you'll find in the jungle will be those in the forests of India, but even then they're a small population. Number 10. It's an age-old urban legend about how we humans only use 10% of our brains, but the rest can be unlocked through hard work or drugs. Completely false. It's a myth that arose during the early 20th century from newly discovered neurological research based on misunderstandings and misrepresentation. There have been countless demonstrations of neurological activity and how every part of the brain can be active based on our activities and have a purpose. In fact, if we had evolved brains with such a tiny efficiency rate, natural selection would have eliminated redundant brains of our size a long time ago. Number 9. Most claim the mayfly only lives for one day, and some use them as an example of how to be time efficient when it comes to us humans and getting stuff done. In reality, most mayflies live anywhere from between a few minutes to an entire week, and that's only one part of their life cycle. Months to years spent as an aquatic nymph swimming around waiting to grow some wings. They'll typically hatch in a giant population altogether, dance around and mate continuously, some witnessed as a tourist attraction or even as a delicacy. Number 8. Your parents likely always told you wait between 30 minutes to an hour before you go swimming after you eat food or you're gonna get stomach cramps. But unless you're planning to go swimming for an Olympic medal, this isn't true. You can eat as much as you want and go swimming anytime. Just don't consume tons of alcohol and go swimming. A lot of people have drowned that way. So the next time you turn around and your parents say, ha, you can't eat that sausage and then go swimming, you can retort, Diddy said it was all right, then you jump in the pool, and then your parents take away your PlayStation because you shouldn't talk back to them. Number seven. The only things that grow on a human being after they die are the hair and fingernails, right? This is incorrect. They require living cells in hair follicles and fingernail beds in order to grow, and the cells responsible die along with the rest of the body. 
The only reason this myth has been around for so long is because dead tissue dries out and shrinks, protruding from follicles and fingers giving off the illusion of growth, when in reality it's simply the first stage of decomposition. Number 6 When people think about keyboards, they generally assume the letters aren't lined up in alphabetic order simply to encourage more efficient typing or something. But the opposite is true. The QWERTY system was originally designed for typewriters placing letters too frequently used far apart so that the typewriter wouldn't jam from people constantly writing things very very fast. A lot of alternative less cumbersome keyboard designs have come up, but since QWERTY is so established in culture and society, you would be a fool to try and change it now. Number 5 It's the old saying, you have the memory of a goldfish, that old 3 second short term memory myth. But there is nothing, even remotely true about this one. Researchers have successfully taught goldfish to push levers, play fetch, or even engage in rounds of soccer, some retaining their memories of how to do these things as much as a year later. In one experiment, some goldfish were trained to hear a sound for feeding time, and they were then released back into the sea. Half a year later, the sound played over a loudspeaker, and basically all the fish swam back to where they were originally released. Number 4 People always look to bats as the prime example of a species that adapted to blindness by developing their own sonar system. But they're not blind, in fact there isn't a single species that is. Some like the fruit bats don't even have sonar, they just use giant eyes to scout around. And micro bats use their eyes to avoid obstacles and calculate their current height. So it is difficult to pin down when this myth started, but it's shocking how many continue to believe it is fact. Number 3 If you accidentally swallow chewing gum, it doesn't take years for it to pass through your system. Researchers found that although gum doesn't get digested by your body like normal food, the longest it's going to stick around is about a week before it appears intact inside your feces. On rare occasions, children who gobble down large amounts of gum might have colon blockage or it sticks other objects to your intestines like coins or sunflower seeds. Because this myth deters kids from swallowing gum, it's generally better to let them believe this one might be true. But just a heads up, it's not true. Number 2 You're a young kid, your mother tells you to wear a coat before you go out or you're gonna catch a cold. But it doesn't work like that. Colds are a misnomer because they are in fact a virus, but they just happen to appear during winter because you stay indoors more often and are thus more likely to come into contact with people infected. It's just a coincidence, but people hear the name and always jump to the obvious conclusion. Number 1 You give a kid a bunch of lollies and later on they start going nuts, jumping all over the furniture, breaking on plates, jumping off balconies, but it's not a sugar rush. Based on a wide variety of experiments, researchers found that kids who regularly consume large doses of sugar are no more spaz than kids who survive on a sugar-free diet. The reason they might get excited is because of the situation or company they're in while they have those sweets, not because of how many they've gobbled down. That's it for this countdown, and have a go- Lions are always considered king of the jungle, but most of them don't- This is incredible.